Welcome. We are looking at art. Many artists express themselves in a variety of artistic styles. What about an artist who works with many different styles, subjects, and media? His artworks include both representational and abstract paintings. He studied methods and materials of various schools of art, and continued gathering knowledge from living artists as well. In the master self-portrait, River has depicted himself in a similar pose as one of Rembrandt's self-portraits. The brushwork and color remain in a strikingly contemporary context. For ten years River was the prisoner of poetry, unable to write a song. All words refused to fit the music. They would only conform to poetic needs. The visual art in this painting absorbed both images of the words holding the singer-songwriter, a hostage. Woman in the Stars 1971 on the island of Hydra. River created this painting, part of a Starscape series. Spiral Series The spiral is a basic structural and symbolic icon of the universe. It has been a repeating theme in River's work since the early days of resolving geometric and organic form. More recently the last series of spiral paintings were inspired by River's visit to Peekskill. There he saw an earlier spiral painting which is part of the Mitchell collection. This still life is part of a continuing series exercising the classic artistic study. The idea of still life as a theme for a group of paintings is actually a classic tradition. River brings several points of view to separate periods. His periods often develop simultaneously in a continuous stream. His work can be found in private collections throughout the world. He continues to be interested in primitive culture and stories about art and nature or creational myth. A sociological awareness was fostered by his many travels. The Particle series applied ideas of quantum principles of angular momentum, spin, and supersymmetry to a crowded space. A world compressed by form. Deep earth colors with hard edge angles opposed to organic movement suggest qualities balanced in opposition. River is fond of saying, The eye and the mind are partners in seeing. My artworks are dedicated to refining seeing and creating specific visions. The visions are either portraits, faithful to the eye, or constructions, faithful to the mind. These partners cross-pollinate sharing ways of describing the vision and framing the perspective. What we only see as an empty space, is an example of ecological architecture. The Grand Canyon paintings present a reality of time and the collective forces of nature through seasonal events. Artistic freedom has not been a goal, it has been created as an issue by art interpreters and professionals unable to see the unity of his vision. River is viewed as a champion of artistic freedom because of his unwavering dedication and refusal to conform to the economic pressures from the art world. Cityscapes are portraits of place and time. River is relentless in discovering the gesture of life within its architecture. River began his paintings of Manhattan when visiting his artist uncle on the Lower East Side. Regular visits become visual safaris. The Manhattan paintings are metaphorical in that they tell a story of daily lives. They are everybody on their way to something. We could easily be in their shoes. River strikes a comfortable chord of familiarity. Theoretically artists have the freedom to work in any style. River chooses to work in every style. 
portraits of place or of people. Each story needs a point of view advantageous to each particular situation. Big picture. 13 feet by 11 feet. Mixed media on 30 panels, each panel 20 inches by 30 inches. Big picture is an expression of time imaging. The approximate size of the complete installation is between 13 and 14 tall and 11 wide. Paintings have been chopped up and parts fixed on the panels. They span a period of time from 1965 and 2008. River's overview of a greater vision was realized in the compression of time. River's work has gone through various periods that express his thirst for discovery. His need for a gathering up from these periods into a larger vision reaching toward unity brings River to the series of computer works and installations forming the big picture. Film Stars Installations Elizabeth Taylor 39 by 57 inches new mixed media mosaic on canvas, 2012, 9 sections each 13 by 19 inches. Elizabeth was the first in this series. The balance between image and cubist substructure orchestrating the motif of the painting was a critical issue. As time was a basic themes in the big picture it played a part in Star's series. They had a unique experience welded to the evolution of events creating the symbol. Some experienced the release date works of the film artists as they came out, along with news events about the artists. Others experienced the film works as objects of antiquity. Lauren Bacall was second in the series, Lauren set the baseline for the series with fragmentation and complexity offsetting the intimacy of the persona. Later particle space paintings seem to allow a free-flowing organic dance across the surface determine the character of the work. The feel of the place is conveyed with a lyrical attention to detail. Color is always a senior partner. River's talent for capturing a moment seems effortless in the casual execution of the painting. The Yale portraits are seen through the lens of time. River was influenced by his time in Oxford. He wondered what Yale would look like in several hundred years. 
This informed the color choices he brought to the art. A quick study of artists working in Province Town. Chakras are found in Sanatan, Hindu and Tantric, Yojek traditions and called Qi in traditional Chinese medicine. Chakras are part of the subtle body, and meeting points through which the life force, prana, move. The notion of energy as an underlying web to objects has been a consistent influence on river's art. With the chakra series river looks for variations in expressing individuality from archetypal symbols of primal energies. Smaller works are focusing exercises. They require an uncluttered attention so the beauty might be well told. River thrives in the faithful atmosphere of honoring a small truth. Abstractions from the landscapes enunciate underlying patterns the casual viewer take for granted. The artist uncovers a fresh view. Like snapshots of loved ones his pictures remind us of moments the land spoke to us. This very large show, with over 70 works, is a superb opportunity to view the various periods of rivers' arts.